Hey everyone, welcome to my first <laughs> crochet tutorial. So bear with me if I make <laughs> all kinds of mistakes, but I just wanted to share with you a really super um, stitch. So I used it to make this lovely, this is still a work in progress. That's my five-year-old Lily uh, blanket. And I just use a ton of scraps. So still working on it, but I just love the way that it looks. So this is the first row here, and then this is the right side, and this is the wrong side. I, I just love the way that it looks. To me, it's like a kind of a knitted look, which I really, really enjoy. And so I'm going to show you how to make this very, very simple stitch. It's all basically uh, half double crochets. So what you will need, but of course you can use any <laughs> supplies you want. I'm using throughout the blanket this uh, Ecru yarn. This is Macaron from Ice Yarns. I will link below to this one. This is Chunky Monkey. It's just leftovers from a different project. The blanket is mostly this and Chunky Monkey or Amigo XL from Hobie. Uh, so four weight yarns, but Chunky Monkey is a very, very chunky four weight. Thank you, lady. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of traditional acrylic yarn, I would say. Dish. And then this one is the Macaron. I just think it looks, it has more of a natural look, like a wooly kind of look, which yes. I really like. And I think is really nice in wearables and also like home decor items. So I'm combining these two. So I'm going to use two strands and I'll just show you on a little, um, like a smaller version. I will be using a 12 millimeter hook. If you wanted it tighter, you could probably go to a number 10. Okay, we're going to start with a slip knot. I'll zoom us in a little bit. And you just want to chain as many chains as you want, as long or as wide you want your project to be. This would be, I'm doing a blanket, but this could also be a really pretty scarf or cowl. So just chain. You could probably, if you're using also two four weight yarns, you could probably go down to a number 10 hook for a tighter stitch, but I really like the like drape and feel of the um, of this pattern with a 12 millimeter hook. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little version for this uh, tutorial. And the first row after we did the chain row is a half double crochet. So I'm going to go with the third loop from my hook. So this is the first hook, this is the first loop, this is the second loop, and I'm going to go into the third chain and yarn over, go into the loop, yarn over again, and yeah, a half double crochet, basically. <laughs> this is, as I said, my first tutorial. So if you're not familiar with any of these stitches, I just recommend to uh, search for a tutorial specifically showing you how to do them. But that's the only stitch I used in this blanket because I really, really love it. And yeah, it's also very easy to remember this. It's a two row repeat and I'll show you in a sec. So I'm going to do the half double crochet till the end of the row. Okay, I finished the first row, which is a half double crochet in each chain. And now the way I like to turn, the way I like to turn, but you can choose whichever technique you prefer. You, I do chain one, I tighten it a little bit, I turn my work, and then I do 
the half the first half double crochet in the first stitch now I actually prefer the look of the other side this side I think is a bit more attractive so I'm going to start with the wrong side row which which is a half double crochet into the third loop. Okay, so let's take a closer look. This is my first stitch. This is where you would usually go. Oh, if you're doing back loop only, that's the back loop, that's the front loop. I am going to go with the third loop. So this is where I'm going to insert my hook. It's the one below the front loop. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. This is the V and I'm going to go with this one here. You will learn to recognize it as you do the pattern. So let's do this together. First one might be a little bit tight. Again, that's why I like to use a large hook. Oh, sorry. You wanna yarn over, go from under it, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Half double crochets. And I'll do a few and then you can see how lovely it looks. Yana. Yana. Let's do another one together. This is the V. Usually you would go here for a half double crochet, but we're going here. And we're going to do this all the way in each stitch. And you can already see that what it does, it actually pushes the regular V where you would normally put your hook in, it pushes it to the front of the blanket, which is the right side. Um, and I just love how that looks. So I'm going to finish the row and then we're going to do the second row repeat. which is on the right side. I will write everything below. As you can see, it's super, super simple. I think all you have to do is kind of remember if you're on the right side or the wrong side and locate that third loop. And then you will have no problem. This is such a nice, easy pattern and it just creates a really beautiful stitch in my opinion. And I was uh, very inspired to kind of make this by Blossom Crochet. She has, I haven't watched all of her videos, so I don't know, maybe she showed exactly this combination also on her channel. Uh, she did something similar with double crochets. So I just wanna give credit where credit is due. I mean, obviously, this is not like a new invention, <laughs> but this is just a combination that worked for me. Okay, the last stitch. So we're at the end of the row. This is the starting chain. I think here, because it's just the starting chain, it's a little bit looser. I'll just go through both loops like I would normally. Um, you can decide what you prefer. Sometimes when you do these kind of patterns that you go only through one loop, some people prefer to do the first and last stitch of the row completely normally. Um, I kind of wing it because this is very chunky. I don't think it really matters. So, row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And now we are on the right side. You know that you're on the right side because you have this beautiful row of Vs. This is the wrong side. It's not ugly, but there's nothing unique going on here. So the right side is simpler. We're just going to do a half double crochet, back loop only in every stitch. So we're starting with our first stitch. I'll show you again how the anatomy of this. This is the top of that stitch, we're going to go into the back loop. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. This is our chain. 
So I'm going to yarn over and go into the back loop only and do a half double. If you prefer, you can do the first stitch normally, but I actually like the way that it looks. Again, so normally you would go under both of these, but we're doing back loop only. And you're going to repeat and do the same for every stitch. And that is it. That's the whole story. And it just creates this beautiful fabric, in my opinion, very kind of plush, um, I think modern, and great way to use scraps. So you can see how this row, because we, you, because we went into the back loop, we also get this kind of V look because the front loop is showing. So very, very attractive. Uh, you could probably get a similar look with a double crochet uh, you can experiment with that. Uh, I just really love the half double. So that's what I went with. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. Sometimes the last stitch is kind of fiddly. Just, you know, find somewhere to stick your hook, make a double crochet. This blanket, especially if you're doing a blanket, so, you know, it's large. Um, it's just very kind of plush and I don't think you can really see also because we're using two strands you can't really really see that sort of detail at the edge so I don't stress too much about it okay now we are here and this is our last stitch I usually look where my current stitch is going into and then I just yarn over and just find a place again if you prefer to do the last stitch a bit more like sturdy or uniform you could just do it regularly and if you hear my tummy rumbling I do apologize <laughs> I skipped breakfast today which I hardly ever do <laughs> so you could do a regular stitch I actually with this blanket I also did the last stitch uh, in the back loop so that's what I'm going to do now but if you prefer to have like a more kind of sturdy stitch here by all means do that and that is it that's the whole thing and look how pretty that is and it's so like thick I, I really think it'll be beautiful for a scarf or a cowl and um, yeah, even though it's like acrylic yarns, especially with a blanket, it's like, you know, it's big and heavy. It has very nice drape, in my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will list below the instructions. Very, very simple pattern that you can absolutely do, you know, just lying in front of the TV. Perfect for scraps. That's what I did with my blanket or you know, if you have like one skein of a bunch of colors You're not sure what to do with it or a variegated yarn um, It works wonderfully with This I think just the look especially if you have a constant like neutral With it you get this very very I'll zoom out again I just think the overall effect is very pretty and it looks very intentional even though I just used a bunch of um, scraps. So you can see this uh, the sides, it just looks, I really like this look, it's kind of um, a little bit, I don't know, rustic, like rough, like handmade but in the best way in my opinion. Uh, of course if you don't like this you could do a border very easily. Uh, but I like the way that it looks. So this is my blanket at the moment. 
and I'm kind of running out of scraps, <laughs> so I'll go through my stash and maybe find uh, a few skeins of colors that I don't um, have, you know, a project in mind or enough to make an entire project. This is like one skein of Chunky Monkey. I managed to do a few rows with it, and then this is another macaron, a pink macaron. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you try it, how you like it, how it looks. You know, share your photos with me or if you have a YouTube channel, then I would love it if you um, like tagged me or, you know, left me a link so I can see if you're making this. Uh, I would be very excited because this is my first <laughs> pattern that I'm sharing or tutorial, let's say it's not really a pattern. But yeah, I think it's just beautiful. So thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.